Hi everyone, Mrs. Coates here. So this week in class we have been talking about the best ways to um, store and retrieve information. And one of the better ways to do that, to get information in and then to get information out again, is through the use of mnemonic devices. You use these all the time and you probably don't even realize it. Some are really popular in math, uh, science, those kinds of things. So I'm going to introduce you to a mnemonic device you probably haven't heard of, but it's used pretty frequently, um, sometimes at the college level or just in general. And that's called the PEG word system. Essentially, you have a series of 10 words that serve as pegs that you hook new words onto. So my subject here, Mr. Matthew Plummer, our STEM director, is going to serve hey um, as an example for you to see how the PEG word system works. So here we go. So I'm going to share with you the peg words. Okay. And then I'm going to give you a list of words to hook those peg words onto. Okay. okay? So you're going to repeat after me first. Mm -hmm. One is a bun. One is a bun. Two is a shoe. Two is a shoe. Three is a tree. Three is a tree. Four is a door. Four is a door. Five is a hive. Five is a hive. Six is sticks. Six is sticks. Seven is heaven. Seven is heaven. Eight is a gate. Eight is a gate. Nine is swine. Nine is swine. Ten is a hen. Ten is a hen. Okay, so those are our ten peg words. Okay. So what I'm going to do is give you a list of words. You're going to hook the first word on to the first peg word, the second word on to the second peg word. Okay. In some fashion, you're going to fit it into the sentence. Okay. So one is a bun yep. is number one. One is a bun. So the first word is carrot. So you have to carrot? stick the word carrot somehow into the phrase one is a bun. One is a bunny who eats carrots. Okay, good. Milk is number two. Two is a shoe. I spilt milk in my shoe. Three paper towels. Three is a tree. Paper towels are made from trees. Four is butter. Four is a door. The squeaky hinges I quieted with butter. Five is eggs. Five is a hive. These hate eggs. <laughs> what? Six is cheese. Six is sticks. James likes cheese sticks. Seven is bread. Seven is heaven. My mom makes great bread. Eight is soda. Eight. I forgot the peg word. Eight is a gate. Eight is a gate. Bill Gates opposes soda. Nine is swine. Nine is and swine. Nine is juice. Juice. Nine is swine. Pigs drink juice. Number ten, pop tarts. Ten is a hen. The hens peck at pop tarts. Okay. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to pick a number one to ten. Yeah. And you're going to tell me the word from the new oh, list. Jesus. Ready? Mm hmm. Six. Cheese. That's right. That's how your peg word system works. You hook on the new list of words to the peg word system, and voila, you've remembered any, any number of lists, words on your list. That's Until pretty, next time.